One thing that I never understood are people who collect toys but don't really collect or watch the movies. And it all starts with this. I wouldn't be a fan without the movies. Here you go, they're all in here. I even still have some of my uh, R2s that don't work on anything unless it's a uh, reach and free player. Now a lot of stuff is starting to come out on Blu-ray. I even have the older copies. Now you can see they're all here. At certain times during the year, I might put in Godzilla. Now remember, this one was not out for a long time, but it finally came out. It's considered almost like a lost film. When being a Godzilla fan, the movies are always gonna come first for me. I mean, after all these years, we have every Godzilla movie on DVD or Blu-ray. It's pretty wild, huh? This was a pretty good deal. These things were about 13, 14 bucks. They even had a display at Walmart. And here's my jackass cat back there doing something. Don't pull the wires out, jackass. And I still have some of my Japanese R2s. I mean, some of these films before they came out was your only option to get a Japanese copy. Hey, I even have Final Wars. Check it out. I don't think I'm gonna watch this movie. I don't really have any interest in watching this movie ever again. Sorry if you're a fan. Then you got your other Toho films. Baron. This is uh, Japanese King Kong Escapes, but then again, this came out on Blu-ray over here recently. a collector I'm a fan of the movies this is a must-have DVD set what the fuck is this cat doing over here now I start going to some more of the obscure stuff this is a nice set right here the tango is always a favorite especially among Kuni Mizuno fans I even have Latitude Zero, Space Me, but also known as Yogg. Can't remember the last time I watched these movies. Dolgar, Mysterians, Atragon, War in Space. War in Space. This is just an absolutely horrible film. Sayonara Jupiter, I only got as a completist because this is a Toho film. Same thing with Gunhead. Pretty unwatchable. This is also known as Yamato Takaro. Not bad. I liked it a lot better when it came out. Now you're starting getting some stuff I really love here. Triple feature. Love these films. Check it out, it's Ma for Yo. Pretty unwatchable. And on these, I never upgraded to Blu-ray. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. Some nice copies. What the fuck is this cat doing over here? These are must-haves. Hell, I even got this. Criterion, the X from Outer Space, then of course I got my Ultramans, Ultra Q, oh look at that, the last dinosaur, Green Slime, 
can't remember the last time I watched this. Now, what else do I have? Japanese version of Gulala. There's Gapa. Yongari. Not bad. And here's a Yongari and Kanga double pack. Oh, I love this movie. Not really. What the fuck is this cat doing? Get out of here! Jackass, you're chasing the light. Tiger vs. Goliath. This was never released here, but unofficially it's connected to the Toho universe. Japanese DVD copy of... This is one of my favorites, of course. It's The Last Dinosaur. I'm going to put this back up here. There we go. Move it around. All right, I got cut off there because I ran out of video time. So let's continue here. This is not a bad film, believe it or not. It's very campy. But some of the uh, miniature scenes are pretty up to par with Tall. And it's got Quentin Tarantino's endorsement right there. All right. This is basically the movie that got me back into Ultra. I flipped out the first time I saw this film. So many Ultra Kaiju in there. It's, it's definitely worth picking up. What else do we got? Negadon, not a bad film. I saw this in New York City at the uh, premiere. It's basically some type of uh, space kaiju fighting like an, uh, uh, like a, I don't know, old school robot, like a, sort of like a Mazinger type character. It's worth checking out. And last but not least, hold on. This movie's pretty shitty. Uh, you might get a couple laughs out of it, but. You know, I'm a completist, so I got it. And that's about it. Again, like I'm saying, you can't be a fan of the genre without actually being a fan of the movies, in my opinion. Because there's more to it than posters and, and vinyl toys like, you know, what I collect. It all starts with these movies.